What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Panthers Advice. Today, we're talking Bryce Young, officially announced as the starter for the Carolina Panthers. Also, check out Carolina Blitz. They've always got the latest news on the Carolina Panthers. They have a YouTube channel and a website. Check them out. Link in the description below. But let's talk about Bryce Young becoming the starter. This opens up the playbook tremendously compared to Andy Dalton starting. Look, I used to be an Andy Dalton fan until he went to Dallas, what, a couple years ago, and he's kind of done. So when Andy Dalton announced as a starter originally, I was like, oh, that's not good. Because if he loses four or five games, the season's over. Do you really want to put in Bryce Young if we're in a losing season and we can't make the playoffs? My answer to that is no. The next topic people want to talk about is Maddie C. Andy Dalton. Who gets QB number two? We'll talk about that at a later time and date. I think Bryce Young being the starter is the most important thing right now. I can't wait for this. We're going to take a look at a couple deep throws he's going to do. And we'll talk more about it this weekend, probably Sunday, another video. Let's jump into the deep throws real quick. All right, here's one of the few deep throws we're going to take a look at, like I said. Big video coming Sunday. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. This connection right here excites me. Bryce Young to Mingo. We've seen Mingo. Dude can flat out play. Next, we've got Andy Dalton and Matty C. This is going to be interesting, that QB2 competition. We're going to talk about it. Just right now, I think Bryce Young is a little more important. I think you guys feel me on that. So, this is going to be the last that we're going to look at. Like I said, more videos coming Sunday. Panthers Advice is out. I'll catch you guys on the next one.